Yo, what is good, Nerdy Nation? B Mina back at it again. This time with a action figure from the vintage Marvel Comics run produced by Toy Biz. Here today we have Ghost Rider, which in my opinion is a very underrated Marvel superhero. Um, I don't know how many of y'all have seen his movie that was, um, that was like made how many years ago by, played by Nicolas Cage. That's who uh, played the Ghost Rider. But I think it was like around the early 2000s. Um, I haven't seen it personally, but maybe one day I'll check it out. Wasn't really intrigued by it, but anyways. Um, now that I have the figure, um, maybe I will take the time to check it out, who knows. But if you guys seen it, let me know in the comment section uh, if you guys liked it or not. But anyway, back to the figure. As you can see, we got Marvel Comics, ages five and up to the top left corner. The Ghost Rider label right there. And it also includes a flame glow details. And there goes an illustration of uh, Ghost Rider himself looking total badass. Moving down, you can tell by just the looks of his skull, it's a uh, glow in the dark, kind of like that off white green tint to it. The detail to the face is actually pretty cool. I like it. I mean, compared to today's action figure standards, this is actually not detailed enough, but I like it because it kind of has like a cartoon feel to it. Moving over to the rest of his, his top, his top half of his body. He has like his little biker leather jacket with the spikes on the shoulder, spikes on the wrist um, and forearm area. Uh, you can tell the articulation on the joint on the arms. Uh, doesn't look like he has like a waist articulation where you can uh, slide, uh, move it side to side or turn it around. It's okay though. Um, then he has the hip articulation so he can practically do the splits. Uh, then he has the joints at the knees as well, which is nice. I always loved action figures that had like the full uh, elbow and knee articulation, so. And then you got the spikes on the boots. You got the chain on the foot. And then you have the chain right here, which is like the silver chain he uses as a whip. And he also comes with a glowing the dark type of chain and spikes I believe that goes around his waist and around him I'm not quite sure though but uh also down here it says custom mini comic book included you can kind of see from the back right there it has Ghost Rider's face and it looks like it's issue six So there's that, and it says Ghost Rider, which is the character above, obviously, with the glow-in-the-dark features and then the chain whipping action. So there's that overview. And at the bottom has the item number, which is 52301. Little warning choking hazard. Um, warning label and uh, toy company that produced it in the 90s which is toy biz all right moving to the back we got everything pretty much that we see or that we saw on the front and then we kind of have a little more in depth of what type of action feature this figure has so Wind up the figure's arms as shown, push button on back for spinning action. 
All right, so, and then place the chain belt around figure's waist and shoulder as shown in this one, and fasten. All right, so then there's a little button in the back and you lift his arm up and he just pretty much slashes away with the chain. So I was right, the glow in the dark chain is around the waist and around the shoulders, so cool. And then a brief description about Ghost Rider right there. You can always pause the video and uh, read it yourself. And then it pretty much shows, collect all Ghost Rider 5 inch figures. To the left we have Blackout with vampire attacking action. We have Vengeance with rib clawing action. We have Blazed mystical flame firing action. Ghost Rider chain whipping action. Skinner extending rib action and Ghost Rider 2 transforming action. All right, moving on. We have the Collect the Entire Cycle series with hot neon glow and dark features, Ghost Rider flame and stunt cycles. Not bad, it looks pretty cool. I think I've seen one at one of the vintage toy stores nearby of the Ghost Rider. And then we have Ghost Rider, Spirits of Vengeance, Motorcycles, and Figures. So that's kind of cool. Sorry if I'm like a little shaky. And then we got the Toy Biz, toll free customer service number. Be kind of funny to go and dial that. And then, sorry, we got proof of purchase label and all that good stuff. So this figure was made, produced in 1995 by Toy Biz. So, RIP Toy Biz was a great action figure company. But, uh, that's pretty much it guys. I mean, I'm a sealed action figure collector. I do have a few loose ones. Uh, once I do get to those, I will definitely um, do more in-depth details, detailed reviews on the action figure itself. Um, but for this one, I'm keeping this one sealed, so this is pretty much just like a spectation um, video. Um, so yeah, hopefully I will find some of the action figures that I have loose and I will purchase those. and so. Like again, I could just be more in depth of the features of the figure, but anyhow, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video segment on an action figure review. Feel free to let me know in the comment section if you liked Ghost, Ghost. <laughs> if you uh, really liked Ghost Rider back way back when, whenever you first heard about this particular character, and. Uh, other than that, if you guys let me know, also let me know if you have a particular Marvel character that you really love um, in the comic section. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Just want to thank you guys again for watching this video. Um, please leave a like and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Stay nerdy, stay weird. Beam is signing out.